good one. Yes, sir. We got challenged. Yes, sir. But guess what? Tonight, we get a chance to step up to that challenge. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. We get to put it on tape. Uh -huh. Let's go. Yeah. And we get that chance tonight. So let's, let's go, go give one. Yeah. We don't three, one, two, three. Win. The Saints are facing in the preseason. It's a 10 and 16 last year. And they won their, their first round playoff game at Houston. Underneath, look out, it's Bell. And loses the football. It's on the ground. And the Saints get it. Nobody touched them. Now they're going to blow it dead. It's the linebacker picking it up, Ellerby. And there's a break. You need takeaways, and they made it work. Third takeaway this preseason, and Danelle Ellerby, in games he played last season, they were 4-2. We've seen all game, how he lifts the level of this team with his athleticism, and look at the lick he puts here on shifting just enough to stay squared up to get the ball when it hits the turf. Now on third and 13. Pocket, protection, back of the end zone. Sneed can't hang on, he does hang on. Oh, Willie Sneed, touchdown Saints. He caught that ball twice. <laughs> well, 17 there, Joel, earlier he had what? The second biggest play, or not the biggest play of the preseason. He's had three catches on this drive. And that helps in red zone efficiency for sure. Well, last week he was in street clothes. He got the week off, but Fights through a little bit of a pull right there. Safety comes over, takes a shot, never loses concentration, keeps his eye on the ball through that big shot that he takes through Mitchell to pull the ball down. Unbelievable concentration. He's a finesse guy, isn't it? Second and about six. Good action. Grayson's got him wide open. Tommy Lee. Another rollout, play action pass. You see Tommy Lee adjust to the ball right there. Saints fall by 13 to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Third consecutive game they have matched up with a play. Um, a couple things, you know, I, I said this to the team afterwards. The one, one thing that's concerning and troubling right now, and look, um, it's week th three in the preseason, but our ability to protect and then our ability to rush the passer that those are those are two things that i think if you just watch the game that uh that are concerning uh, obviously very concerning so we've got to keep looking at uh, the best lineup the best way for us to give us a chance offensively and then defensively the same way in regards to who's doing it and what we're doing well obviously he's a real good player um and yet we're getting beat at guard at times, and and so I, I wouldn't say that, that was the the sole. You know reason. We'll keep you posted. Um, you know I think they I, I thought they got after us a little bit, um, in in with their pass rush, um, you know they uh, bring a lot of pressure at times, but uh, you know I felt like. We were able to make a couple big plays. Unfortunately, one got called back with a holding penalty. Um, but then there was a few others that, that ended up being nice plays. So, you know, it's hard to gauge um, just being that it was, it was a short while, you know, that I was in there with them. And then uh, the starting line stayed in for the rest of the half with Luke. And then, you know, it was a new set of guys in the second half. But, um, you know, uh, just have to see the film and, and then be able to evaluate it from there. What did you see on the way to Uh Well, there's, it's, it's tight windows, you know. I mean, it's third and third and long, third and twelve or so from the 15-yard uh, line. You know, one of those where, you know, you got points, but uh, and if we could take a shot at the end zone, then great. And um, you know, the coverage kind of gave us just one small little window to throw that ball, and, and he he jumped up and made a great great catch. Did you get a chance to see the replay of exactly what he did? Yeah, yeah, because I didn't see I didn't see the juggle there uh, and and catch at the in the back of the end zone. Um, I just assumed he came down with it, but man, he he, uh, he jumped up, took a big hit, you know, ball kind of came up and, and fell right in his lap, but just the level of focus and concentration on his part was pretty phenomenal. How you got to finish on a touchdown and a touchdown pass. How would you have wanted to stay in longer and make sure you, you guys put together 
together a drive like that? What, what's your end takeaway, and how much was it important for you guys to have some success to finish on? Uh, it was. It was important for us to. to you know, go down and get points, and, and just put together a, a good drive, um, where you know we're converting some first downs, and then and, you know making some plays, which which some guys did. You know, I felt like um, Willie got a lot of opportunities just based upon what they were doing. Um, so again, you know, I'll be able to evaluate it better once we go and kind of look at the film and, and, and get a good gauge for kind of how they were playing the whole game. But uh, you know, there's always, always. I think it always could have been better. Um, certainly some things, a lot of things we need to work on.